making money today is like being a great hunter. It's about sharpening your skills, staying focused, and being capable of surviving. If you're here, it means you want to improve your life, help more people, and increase your income. Today, I'm revealing the eight toxic habits that you need to stop doing right now to achieve all of that. The first thing you need to stop now is stop trying to impress others. Let's get real for a moment. When I moved from the Philippines to Canada, I felt a lot of pressure to prove myself. I thought I needed to show my success through fancy gadgets, designer clothes, and an expensive car. But you know what? What I realized the most important person to impress is myself. Forget about trying to impress others. Society often makes us think our worth depends on what others think. But here's the truth. Constantly seeking approval is exhausting and doesn't bring a real happiness. Focus on becoming the best version of you. Ask yourself, what would the future you be proud of today? Is it reaching your health goals, starting that dream business, or spending quality time with your family? These are the things that truly matter. Start doing those things. So, take a moment to reflect. Are you making choices based on what others will think or say? Or are you making decisions that align with your true self and long-term goals? Remember, the only person you need to impress is yourself. Live authentically. Number two, stop spending time with weak people. When I left my nursing career to become an entrepreneur, I saw how important it was to be around strong, motivated people. The people you spend time with affect your mindset and energy. If they are negative or lack motivation, they will bring you down. I had to make hard choices and distance myself from people, even friends, who were not helping me grow. It was tough, but I had to do it. Remember, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So, pick your friends carefully. Be with people who inspire you, push you to be better, and support your dreams. It's not always easy to distance yourself from people, especially if they've been a part of your life for a long time. But sometimes, it's necessary for your growth. You don't have to cut them out completely, but spend less time with them and more time with those who inspire and motivate you. Number three, stop suffering with imaginary problems. As an entrepreneur, I've faced many challenges. One of the most important things I've learned is to not worry about problems that haven't happened yet. Our minds often imagine the worst case scenarios, but those actually don't come true. Focus on what you can control and try to stay positive. Instead of thinking, what if it goes wrong? Try asking yourself, what if it goes right? Imagine things going well instead of bad. When I was starting my personal YouTube channel, I had doubts. I worried if people would watch my videos, if I could make interesting content, and if I could keep up with the work. But I didn't let those fears stop me. I focused on what could go right. And now, my channel is gaining more subscribers. Number four. Stop asking for permission. When I decided to leave my nursing career, it was a big choice. I didn't ask anyone for permission because I knew what I wanted. You should take control of your own life. Make decisions with confidence. Always asking for approval from others takes away your own power. You're able to make the best decisions for yourself. Trust your gut feelings and take brave steps towards what you want, whether it's starting a new business, following a passion, or making a big life change. Do it because it feels right to you, not because someone else says it's okay. Number five, stop being the supporting actor. Your life is like a movie and you should be the main character. When I wrote my book, Abundance Mindset, I decided to take control of my own story. You have the same power to be the main character in your life. Don't let other people decide what you should do. Many years, I made choices based on what society and others expected of me. I became a nurse, moved to Canada, for better opportunities and worked hard to support my family. Those were good choices, but they weren't entirely my own. When I chose to become an entrepreneur, I decided to take charge and write my own story. You can do the same. You are the author of your own life. If you've been letting others lead, it's time to take the lead yourself. Make decisions based on what you truly want and dream of. Live your life in a way that 
feels right to you without worrying about what others think. Number six, stop wasting time on screens. We live in an age where distractions are just a click away. It's easy to get stuck into the endless scroll of social media, binge watching TV shows, or losing hours to video games. But think about the time you're losing, time that could be spent working on your goals, learning new skills, or spending quality time with your loved ones. One of the best choices I made was to limit my screen time. I decided on specific times to check social media and watch Netflix. The rest of the time, I focused on doing things that mattered. This change helped me grow my YouTube channel, write my book, growing our business, and start other business projects. You can do this too. Pay attention to how you spend your time and focus on activities that help you reach your goals. Number seven, stop eating junk food. Your health is wealth. Eating junk food can make you feel tired and sluggish. It can also make it harder to think clearly and stay focused. On the other hand, healthy foods give you the energy and nutrients you need to feel good and do your best. Eating right doesn't mean you can't have treats sometimes. It's about finding a balance. Most of the time, choose healthier foods, but it's okay to enjoy a treat once in a while. Your body and mind will thank you. Remember, eating healthy is not just about your body it helps your mind and spirit too so you can be your best self number eight stop being broke now let's talk about money my friends financial freedom is powerful over the years i've explored many businesses to create multiple streams of income here's the deal start by looking at what you're spending cut out the stuff that you don't really need and invest in your future think about finding a side hustle learn new skills and build your wealth money can give you security freedom and opportunities when you're constantly worried about paying bills or living paycheck to paycheck it's tough for you to focus on building your wealth you need to take control of your finances don't let finances control you or you won't have a life first things first assess your current financial situation check your income expenses and debts where can you cut back and save cook more at home cancel subscriptions that you don't use or find ways to lower your utility bills next increase your income how do you do this this could be a side hustle freelancing investing or even starting a small business the internet is full of opportunities to make money find something that aligns with your skills and interests and just go for it remember Average is the enemy. Success is your responsibility. And change happens when you flip the switch. If you want to learn more from me, check this video next.